Welcome to another episode of Entrepreneurs in Fuego. We're documenting the journey of incredible entrepreneurs. We are the number one multimedia broadcast show for entrepreneurs. How are you doing? Mary Beth York. I'm good, thank my new, you. My new best friend. How are you doing? I'm doing good. You got all, all, you got all sorts of props over here, man. I Look did. Got you all my children. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what did you call them? The weapons of mass seduction. That's my vegan brush kit, is the <laughs> weapons of mass seduction, yes. Mary Beth York, she is the CEO and founder of MB York Beauty. Yes. Oh, man. Tell, mm -hmm. us, tell us more about what you do. Well, I am primarily a makeup artist, and I started off just doing that, and I worked on thousands of women, and I went on to open up my own spas. I own two spas here in Scottsdale for 10 years, and mm -hmm. I eventually became an esthetician and created all my own uh, protocols for spa treatments, and I have a whole new skincare line also in development right now called Rocket Science Cosmeceuticals. So. Did, when did you know that you were an entrepreneur? Because you know, th there's one thing to have a passion for this thing, mm -hmm. right? But there's a huge chasm between, all right, I, I, I could do makeup, I could, mm -hmm. I could be an esthetician, I could be all those things, but now you develop that into a brand, into a business. Yes. That is difficult. It is difficult. Um, I was just in a movie also called The Entrepreneur and as right. myself, and it was the same question. And you know, I just- Somebody asked the same question as I did? Well, I the same new? basic what? question what? of, I feel like, you know, a lot of people think as an entrepreneur, they have to go out there and find an idea. And I feel like um, you either are, you're born one and most products are born in terms of entrepreneurship by solving a problem. And so right. I would hear the same issues over and over with every woman I dealt with. For instance, you know, nobody knows how to do their eyes. Every single woman would say, I have no idea how to do my eyeshadow. And this is my paint by number eyeshadow kit. And I used to have to draw the eye um, afterwards and put stickers on all the shadows and write down what brush to use. And a lot of times they don't buy the brushes. They're like, I already have them. I don't need them. And then they come back and say it never looks the same as when you do it. So I eventually just to make my own life easier, you know, included it all into the packaging. And I've kind of kept that my theme wow. um, with my other products, like my beauty ammo is my um, three steps to combat and camouflage wrinkles. And I created it mainly for Arizona, but they use it on lots of movie sets. I get called onto sets to do this on everyone from Brad Pitt, George Clooney, the whole cast of Glee, uh, Martin Sheen, Kevin Bacon, they use it on Dancing with the Stars. But I numbered the products right on the jar, one, two, three, I included the sponges. Um, there's a little instruction sheet. There's also a one minute video on my website which shows how to do it. So it's all about you know teaching women how to do things. And that's how they become your customer and become loyal. And that's pretty much what separates me from a lot of other um, beauty lines. Gotcha. And, and how long have you been doing this as an entrepreneur as a business? Well, I had my, I started my spa in 1996 and I had the two of them during that period for the next 10 years and the last three years or so of that I started creating my products. I originally launched my beauty ammo kit on HSN. Um, I was on there for about three years um, creating other products sure. as well and um, along the way I've taken some twists and turns and I recently just won a contest on QVC with my new uh, rock your tube dress, so I'm kind of going more in that direction with the shopping network. Um, which is which is this dress right here? Yes, that, that, that shows it, it's a black little dress. It's, it's a, a tube, it's a and tube. it's okay. actually made in a knitting factory in Holland, and you could wear it as a shirt, a skirt, a dress in multiple configurations. But it's also something that teaches, I think of it as a styling tool where you're teaching women how to use things they already have in their own wardrobe. So, you know, they can see it and it demonstrates great on TV. So it's like, oh, I have a jean jacket or I have a leopard jacket. And that's kind of what inspires people to buy it. But also it's a great travel piece. And a lot of my concepts are all things that are like multitasking products that, you know, I have a new line of um, organic primers and foundations. And they're all like four products in one, like sunscreen, foundation, moisture, or, you know, um, all of that in one product. Oh, and gotcha. there's also the pregnancy version, which is called Maternitube. And Maternit I'm marketing this to, like, uh, the maternity, um, yeah, department do you, stores. Uh, how do you come up with this product? Do you have a team that no, comes up? Or is it's it all you? Me. It's pretty much you. Mm -hmm. It's all me. I love branding, and for me, the creativity, I mean, is the packaging is so important when people try to cut corners sure. on that or, 
you know, um, try to tell me a cheaper way of doing it. Even when I was on HSN and had really tight margins, I'm like, it's all about the experience. You know, the box that it comes in, you know, my clients love it. The, the hat boxes, it, it draws their attention when I'm at trade shows. There can be, you know, a hundred other lines. Everything's white and boring. They see the pink and they're like robotically running toward it. Describe your ideal client or your avatar. Uh, well, I've always been up north, which is a lot of um, snowbirds and people from, you know, back east. And so I've always started off with more of an older clientele, I would say 40 and up, but obviously my, my, my products appeal to younger girls. Sure. My, my eyeshadow kit, I've done segments where I showed three generations, basically a 14 year old, you know, the mom who was 40 and the grandma who was in her 60s. My daughter is 14, I've used her on TV segments showing this is perfect for teens and learning how to do it. But, you know, I, I don't think there's a big difference other than some of my anti-aging products obviously are for that demographic. And to be honest, it's a better demographic in a lot of ways because those are the people that have money. So that's the, about it. As an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. in this journey as an entrepreneur, and this is a phenomenal line, but as a, as a, in, in your entrepreneurial journey, mm -hmm. what have you found to be the most challenging aspect of that journey? Well, there's a few things. The, uh, number one, most challenging when I had my spas was employees. I just felt the employee pool was absolutely mind-blowingly horrible. And I what, what felt, do you think that is? Uh, I think it's just very few people have a work ethic. I don't know if it's an Arizona thing. You know, I would I would find good mess, good Midwestern girls. I'm from Chicago, and if right. I found somebody like from the Midwest. That was always good, but um, you know, California girls would just come in in their flip flops, and they just don't have any ambition. And you know, being a woman, it's challenging too because I would ask the simplest of things, like to have my phone call be, you know, um, screened, and they would be like, "Oh, she's just so awful," and you know. I would have to get like attorneys and have $180,000 in legal fees when I had an issue with the manufacturer where as a man could get on the phone and it would be resolved in two phone calls. So the thing that was so challenging is I would have to get so aggressive and bring out so much male energy to get things resolved. And after 10 years of doing that, it just got very exhausting and I, I literally took a few years off just kind of taking a breath but <clears throat> you know I've just learned to trust the universe more and flow with things more and just no matter what happens I just say you know what it all works out to my advantage and it does I have God you know is a big part of my life and <clears throat> everything just keeps going forward and improving and getting on a higher vibrational level I've you know made all my products now vegan like I am yep organic where I can, you know, and just continue to say, you know what, I'm not listening to any of the noise. I live in my own little Barbie bubble. Life is good. And, you know, you would think you would think that because of who you are and mm -hmm. how dedicated you are, how determined you are, mm -hmm. that the girls that you're describing, that they would see you as a role model and they would want to be like you and, and, and work as hard as you do and have the same work ethic as you do. Eventually, but, I did find the key right. and that was hiring young girls that were just coming out of school where I can train them my way but if I hired anyone that you know and when I say older I mean even 25 and up wow. they would be more set in their ways or a lot of times they thought okay the beauty industry they think you know that's going to be an easy route, but like anything, it includes sales. It includes a lot of other skills. Sure, there, there's, there's yeah. also than skills. just being pretty. You, you, you touch, right? You you touched on something that I want to mm -hmm. go back to, and uh, it's the gender issue, right? Mm -hmm. The fact that in your entrepreneurial journey, I think that what you mentioned is that because you were a woman. In, in the same task, a mm -hmm. man picking up the phone would have gotten that right. resolved right away. The mm -hmm. fact that you were a woman, uh, you were perceived differently. Right. Is well, that changed? I don't think so, no. I think it's something I still deal with. Um, it was hard for me, too, with employees not respecting me. And like when that one hmm. book came out, Lean In, you know, I'm yeah. like, lean away is more, <laughs> the, is more the, the norm. I mean, women, you know, I have a great group of women around me right now that yeah. I am doing events with and that, you know, they're all more like me. But, you know, it's, it's a challenge is all I can say. What's the best advice you're going to give? a young entrepreneur that wants to get into your same line of business? My same line? Um, 
Well, you know, my best, I have people ask me all the time because I've been on the shopping sure. networks. Everybody wants to know how to get on. Everyone wants to create their own products. Right. You know, go work for someone that's done it. Like, you know, they expect me to like take them to lunch and give them my business plan. I'm like, uh, come in and at least pay me for a makeup lesson. You know, <laughs> buy some of my products. I'll give you some tips, point you in the right direction or get a job there. I mean, I started out in a hair salon when I was 19 as a receptionist. I worked my way up to managing two locations, one in the Biltmore, one in the Brigada. I mean, 27 stylists. I got burnt out on that. I switched over to the makeup. I leased out the makeup areas in both salons. And then I went over to Jose Bear. I worked on Rodeo Drive. I got my celebrity thing going. Every single thing I've done, I have put so much work into. And there's no way around the work. And so for me, when people come to me wanting a shortcut, you know, I just laugh. Fast and easy. It doesn't happen. Well, and because everything I've created has been from doing something over and over and over and over and over again. But part of the beauty is with, with my concepts that I sell to salons and spas, other owners now can have the quantum leap of what I already went through. And instead of, you know, having to spend six months training somebody to be a makeup artist, they can use this one kit. It's going to work on every single person. And it's easy to sell because I used to have to, you know, um, train people how to be confident selling more than one thing and they would you know just not have the confidence but when it's in a kit there's less choices it's a higher sale it just it solves a lot of problems for both the employee the employer and the customer phenomenal how much is this retail for? $65 and it is on QVC right now with three payments and I think they even have a $5 off thing so yeah that was a trick question because I figured you were going to go on your QVC mind right yeah. now you did man <laughs> right <laughs> you got to get the plug <laughs> It's, it's competitive. I mean, it's hard. It's a lot of work goes into, if you even knew the year of testing that went into this dress before it was launched on QVC. And I did win a contest and I beat out, you know, hundreds of other products. But even getting there, that just starts the journey of then selling it on air. You so. heard it right here, three easy payments. And look yeah. at the phones ringing right now. With that, <laughs> we're out.